Hi, this video tutorial I will cover thread pool. Thread pool has a fixed number of threads and these threads are used to execute multiple runnable or callable task. And thread pool implementation is present in java.util.concurrent package. One common type of thread pool is fixed thread pool. In fixed thread pool, we can specify how many number of threads should be present in thread pool. Suppose if we specify thread pool sizes 3, then 3 threads will be present in thread pool. Suppose if we specify thread pool sizes 5, then 5 threads will be present in thread pool. And that fixed number of threads will be used to execute multiple tasks. Suppose say we have a web application and in that web application there are 100,000 requests are coming and to process each request if we create a thread object for each request then we have to create 100,000 thread object. So if more requests are coming then after some point of time more threads will be created and it will occupy more system memory and system resources and after some point of time system will crash. To avoid this kind of problem, we can use thread pool and thread pool will contain a fixed number of threads and that fixed number of threads can be reused again and again to process n number of requests. Using a new fixed thread pool method, we can create a fixed thread pool and here you can specify how many number of threads should be present in fixed thread pool. Using a new hashed thread pool method, we can create a expandable thread pool and using a single thread executor method, we can create an executor that executes a single task at a time. And these two factory methods are available in executors class. And there are other executors are present like thread pool executor, scheduled thread pool executor. And this is about thread pool and thanks for watching.